Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. I hope this video finds everyone doing well and I hope that everyone is finding their happy place with diamond painting. Um, okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can get notified each and every time I upload a video. Also, we have this beautiful pet in here from Lays and Lathe Works that we are doing a giveaway of. All you have to do is subscribe and comment. I want it. Once we have 50 comments, we will be going ahead and giving this a new home. So there is that pen. Um, all right, today we're going to be doing an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right to it because, well, I, this piece, Okay, so it's one of those pieces that it just kind of spoke to me. It it uh, it said, buy me, do me, like put me up in your house. Uh, it's just one of those pieces that spoke to me. I don't know if it'll speak to any of you, but it, it did to me. So let me get you down to the table and show it to you. Hi peeps, I'm back. I'm um, down on the table, so let's get right to it. The box has a holographic shine to it. I don't know if you can see it in this lighting. There we go, I think you got it now. I think I can see it reflecting. Anyways, everything you need to do a diamond painting is in this box. Light pads, all that stuff are optional. You can buy them, they're nice, but they're not necessary. This is all you need. So it comes with the details of what's in the kit. Um, it tells you how to do it. You peel back the covering. Uh, from the canvas and the adhesive. You identify the symbol you wanna work with, identify the matching color, put some wax in the tip, put the beads or diamonds, drills, whatever you wanna call them, in the tray, go ahead and give them a little shake, line them up, um, pick them up with your pen and place them in the corresponding spot on the canvas and your picture will emerge. All right, so there's that. Let's get right into it. Oh, yes, and it is around. Um, you can tell by the symbol and the color. All right. Oh, hopefully you didn't see that. All right. Move this off to the side, excuse me. All right. We will do the stickers in a minute. Real quick, let's get into our kit. Everything you need for the diamond painting kit is in here. You've got your pen. It's got a single placer on this end. This kit does come with a squishy, which is nice because you can put that on there. It helps fingers. Um, if you have two, go ahead and throw both of them on there. That way when you put your multi-placer on the end here, like so, you can have a squishy on this end. When you flip it, you can have a squishy, 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 get the point. Anyways, it comes with the four placer, nice and thin, so it places evenly. Two wax patties, prefer Diamond Art Club wax patties over most of the other wax patties. And a tray. And I don't know if I said this, but baggies, which you can use to put your stuff in just for storage if you don't have a way uh, to put your drills into storage. Um, I use the Elizabeth Ward storage containers. That's my preference, but... Um, some people use the Tic Tac ones. I have those and um, my kids use those when they're doing their diamond paintings or the ones I started with. I just upgraded to the Elizabeth Ward ones about, I don't know, four or five months ago and I really love those. So happy with that. But anyways, it's not about storage containers. This is about this diamond painting. Let me get to it. Set the stickers off to the side and the drills. Every canvas, every kit comes with an instruction booklet. In here you will find a coupon, thank you 10. You can use that code to get 10% off your order. Diamond Air Club's pretty good about not wanting you to pay full price, which is awesome. Uh, sign up for the rewards club, it's definitely worth it. I know um, it's it pays off for sure. Let me go ahead and get this one rolled backwards here. Bear with me. Sorry about this, peeps. Oh, and speaking of rolling a canvas backwards, 
I can do this because it's a cord glue. If this were a double-sided adhesive, you would not want to do this. Um, just so we're clear on that. I wouldn't want you to ruin your canvas by rolling it backwards when it's not supposed to be. That would suck. Um, you know, you might create bubbles and rivers and problems. So, all right, that's probably good and rolled. That might be too rolled now, it might be going the other way. Oh well, that's okay. Move on this the right way up. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. All right, I have to kind of do it this way so you can see the whole thing right side up. Okay, this is the Shepherd's Cottage. It is a Mandy Manzano. It is 73 centimeters by 55 centimeters. Can you see it? Just look at the colors and the, the flow of it. Just the, oh my gosh. It just, it spoke to me. It was so vibrant, so just lovely. Like, I don't know. It's just so amazing. <sighs> Anyways, um, okay, where should we start? Probably by measuring it. All right, again, the Shepherd's Cottage. And something um, that I started doing a couple of videos ago that I will mention now is I put a link uh, to the buying it in the description so that you can check it out because someone pointed out to me that that would be helpful. So I've started doing that. Okay, this is supposed to be 73 by 55. It's measuring 54 and a half. Okay, coming this way. Almost 73, almost. So it's almost spot on. That's good. All right, let's check out. Let's see if we can move this over this way a little bit so we can see more of the picture. The sticky. That's really sticky. That's nice. Always, always count on Diamond Art Club's sticky to be pretty much spot on. All right, let's look at this key. Okay, it looks pretty clear. And I'm seeing one AB on there, number one. You can tell because it's under, it's 149 and below is ABs. Um, yeah, this looks really clear. 44 colors, one AB. Mm. Yeah, it's really clear. Always love that about Diamond Art Club. Canvases are super clear, easy to read. I don't know if you can tell with the light shining off there. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, super clear. Um, the other thing that I want to mention about the Diamond Art Club canvases is that they do have the scalloped edges that are nice and um, perforated and everything, so to keep it from fraying. And they also have the shimmer to them. I haven't mentioned that in a lot of my videos, but there is that. And the feel is, is really amazing. It's, it's really soft. You'll find that your canvases um, flatten out very quickly um, and they they stay pretty pretty flat all right um, let's see stickers so this is the big sticker <clears throat> it's got the picture there here we go let's see if you can see that better Okay, so anyway, it's Mandy Manzano, and it is the Shepherd's Cottage. Now, I use this to put in my logbook, and then I take a photocopy of the key code here, 
and make a sticker out of it and put that in my log book so when I cut off the canvas edges, if I cut off the canvas edges, I have something for popping drills if I have popping drills. Um, these are individual little stickers. I use them to put on the front of my storage containers. You can use them on front of your baggies if you use baggies. Um, however you choose to do that, it's there. And then there is the little sticker. Um, I use these on the front of my uh, storage container, kind of like a big collection of them. Uh, you can make them into cover minders. Uh, another YouTuber I watched, Diamond Painting with Grace, she makes them into cover minders. If you want to check out her page and see how she does that, um, that's, that's a good idea. Um, otherwise, I know some people put them on the end of their box, so when they're storing it, it's easier to see what's on the box. Most boxes do come with a picture already on it, um, located here on the box. Some people like to store their boxes in a cupboard um, with the ends facing out, so they like to put them, say, here, or maybe they like them over here. So this allows you to put them wherever is convenient for you, however you put your box. Um, I simply use a fade resistant marker and I label the name and the artist on mine. Um, and I use that sticker on my storage container. But you can do it however you want, of course. But anyways, so let's look at these drills, shall we? And just so you know, the bag is labeled with the name of your canvas so that you can keep them separately if you so choose, which I do. I'm sorry for all the crinkling. All right. There are some super pretty colors in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this is so fall colored, isn't it? It's very fitting considering today we had our first frost warning. And this is all fall colored. Isn't that pretty? Look at those. Yeah, those are pretty. And by the way, those were our ABs. These white ones here. Can you see the extra iridescent shimmer shine to them? And that's the only thing I would say about Diamond Art Club that I find a little bit... Mm. I'm looking for the right word. Annoying is not the word. Um, I don't know the correct word for it. I'm a little mm, disappointed, maybe. Not quite disappointed. Almost disappointed. Let's, let's go with that. I'm almost disappointed that almost all of the canvases always, always, always have the white ABs. Very rarely will you find the other colors sprinkled throughout. And if it's usually one AB, it's usually white, which would be like a little bit of a um, a tiff, I guess, for me. Like, I don't know, not even a tiff. It, it's a little bit of an irk, maybe. I wish they would mix it up a little bit more, um, step away from just the plain old white ABs, and I don't know. I don't know, I'm speaking now through my own opinions, and maybe, maybe you guys like it, just the white ABs for the most part, but I wish they would kind of mix it up a little bit. I don't know if anybody else has observed all of the white AB um, malarkey, so to speak, but I, I, I appreciate the ABs, and even if they're white, they're beautiful, and they really do jazz with the picture, but I would like to see a little more variety. Um, you know what I mean? These are fatty bags. Okay, those are the colors. So we know that our AB is white. And we know that it's number one. So let's see if we can locate it here in the canvas. Okay, we've got some white ABs over here. 
and I know these are sheep. Okay, these ones at least. I don't know about this one. I think this one is too. Pretty sure that's a sheep. I know that's a sheep. All right, there's some white down in here, ABs. Here, here, and here. Nope, not there. Some there. I'm lining this here. I'm lining it there. I'm lining it there. And there. Some in here. A whole bunch there. I don't know if I pointed that out already. Right, lining in here. A few spots. Highlighting this area up here. The house, the cottage, and then the hillside a little bit. All right, and then up around the sun, and then coming off of some of the sun rays. Um, just a few. There's a few up in here. Yeah, they're just sprinkled a little bit throughout. I like that. I like that they're sprinkled throughout. Would I blend this up, up more? Um, heck yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna find some oranges and some reds to go in here to blend this up. And probably some oranges and reds and the sun rays up there to blend that up. I um, think I'm gonna emphasize the orange and the red in this piece. I feel that that would be a a good way to go with it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, anyways, um, I think that's pretty much it. What do you guys think of this piece? Does it speak to you? Do you like it? Is it something you would like to add to your collection? I don't know. I love Manny Manzano. I have a whole bunch of her pieces and this one is just, it's gorgeous. I love the flowing lines of it. I love the stained glass effect look it has. Um, just really enjoy it. So hopefully you did too. And uh, before I go, real quick, reminder about the pen. Don't forget to comment, I want it. Subscribe and comment, I want it. So there it is. And all right. You guys have a wonderful day. Much love. Bye.